Hey guys, and welcome back to No Bland Makeup, where we do makeup and body paint tutorials, usually with a cosplay twist, and today is a continuation of my World Cup flag series. So if you guys like these kinds of videos, I'll have the playlist linked up at the cards. You can watch that when you're done with this one. And before we get into the tutorial, I have a merch store. So if you guys want to get some hoodies, t-shirts, stickers, anything like that, the link is teespring.com slash noblandmerch and it actually really helps out the channel. So if you guys want to do that, I'll have it linked down below. So on to the actual reason you're here. I'm going to start off by applying some red eyeshadow to my eyeball. I want to keep it on the lid because I am going to blend it out later, but I wanted a little bit more control of this, especially since it's such a bright color. And if you're ever using a bright color like this, always make sure to tap off the excess so you don't have fallout like I do on your face. So as promised, I went in and blended it out. I used a denser blending brush to kind of keep the color and not have it too diffused. And then once I finished with that, I went in with a fluffier blending brush and blend it out a little bit more just to make sure the edges weren't super harsh and to kind of wing the thing out a little bit more. And once we've done all that blending, we're gonna go ahead and apply a little bit more of that red eyeshadow on the lower lash line, and you're gonna leave a little bit of space open for some gold. And then apply a little bit of gold just in that space. Now for the eyeliner, I wanted to do something a little bit different, so I did dotted eyeliner. Sometimes I like doing dots in makeup looks just because it, you don't see it a lot. Like if you go on Instagram, yeah probably. But you don't see it a lot in the real world and it always looks super cool, so I wanted to do that for this one. So I applied some gold eyeliner. Um, this was a mix of some eyeshadow and mixing medium. If you guys want to know all the products to use, I'll have them listed down below. And I just started my eyeliner on. Then I went in with some blue eyeliner and kind of filled in the gaps that were in that gold. Now I'm, I'm sure you're probably wondering what the hell I'm doing. The flag of Portugal is mostly green and red. Well, I want to do something a little different. My eye look is mostly red. Green's gonna come later, but they do have like an insignia logo thing right in the middle, so I kind of wanted to bring the colors of that in as well. And then to continue with the theme, I applied a little bit of white eyeshadow to the inner corner, not only to use the colors of the flag, but also to give me a little bit of a highlight. And then to finally include some of the green from the flag, I'm applying some green rhinestones, because why be normal when you can be extra? And then once you've done all that, it should be about here. And we've only got a couple more things we need to do. One of those things is applying some false lashes. So if you guys want a full video on how to do that, tips, tips, and other things, I will have that video linked in the cards up above. And then if you're like me, you're gonna apply some mascara after your lashes. If you are not, then your lashes are already mascara -ed. But don't forget to apply some mascara to your lower lashes as well, so that way they stand out a little bit more. Now for the lips, you can really do any color you want with this. I decided to go with the nude pink, which surprisingly worked out pretty well. It's pretty nice. But again, that part is kind of up to you. And then once you have your lip color on, this is the finished look. So I hope you guys like this video. I definitely had a lot of fun doing it. And yeah. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so YouTube knows that you meant it. Give me a big thumbs up if you also enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments down below who you think is going to make it to the to the finals basically. You think Portugal is going to take it home? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!